I just spent the last about 20 minutes trying to find a new camera angle for my videos. And as you can see, it was not a success. Yeah, basically there is nowhere to film in my apartment. I live in about 600 square feet of homemade designed in-law unit above a garage. And it's a very nice in-law unit above a garage, but it's very small. It has lots of little nooks and crannies and nowhere to put a camera. Just, you should see what's going on right now. This is pretty, actually pretty funny. So this is, you know, it is what it is. Welcome to my vanity. My name is Jessica. Thank you for clicking on this video today. We're doing an update on my rolling project pan. On my eyes today is a look I made using the Child palette from ColourPop. One of the shades is in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, so if you're interested in seeing other looks from my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, make sure to check out my Pan Those Eyeshadows videos if you haven't already. I think I have a lot of new friends on my channel, so hi, my name is Jessica. I live in the Bay Area of California. I love makeup, I'm a science teacher, and I also, you know, like other cool stuff too, like music and art and nature. So yeah, I'm also really into frugal living because I live in such an expensive area and I'm not working in tech. <laughs> um, things can be difficult. So I do a lot of low buys here on my channel, thrifting, not really on my channel, but um, yeah, if you're interested in use your makeup type content, or if you'd be interested in hearing other types of content from me, let me know in the comments down below. I'm kind of been thinking about branching out and like making other types of content as well. So I don't know. I know this is kind of a makeup space right now, and I'm super happy to have the subscribers here that I have. I just hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you everybody so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm really enjoying being a part of the YouTube community so far, and look forward to just having. More more fun with it. I made some pretty decent progress this month. I started some other projects as well. So I've kind of been bringing more into my makeup repertoire as far as like what I'm trying to use on a regular basis. So things have kind of been spread out a little more thin, but that's okay. I still have some great progress to share with you from the past month. Very excited to be able to roll out some products this month. And that means I'll be rolling some new products in. So that'll be exciting. Let's get into it. The first item I'd like to update you on is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation, and I'll really try not to blind you with this product. It's very shiny. This one has been in for a couple months now. I think it's been like four or five months. I could look, but I'm not going to. It was weighing 150.96 grams last month. I actually did need to take out the stopper from this, so I made sure to weigh it with the stopper to get the accurate usage. With the stopper, it's 149 grams, and that means I've used 1.96 grams, and you definitely can see a lot of windows in here. I've kind of been scraping the sides so the windows are not as intact as they were. I only have a little bit of product down at the very bottom. There's like a little pool of product down there. I'm gonna have to get into it with a little brush or something because the doe foot doesn't quite reach that far down in there, but I do intend on using the entirety of this product. I really do enjoy this foundation, love it a lot. Probably won't repurchase just because I wanna try other things. And I know Physicians Formula is not cruelty-free and I think I'm going to start maybe trying to support cruelty-free brands more. I am an animal advocate, I do love them, so I wanna start like putting my action into that and voting with my dollar a little more. I used 1.96 grams, not quite as much as last month, but we're gonna go steady with her. Hopefully in the next month, I'll be able to use it up. I really hope so, because I would love to get some new things rolled in as far as foundation goes. and get on to the next basically, but enjoying it for now. The next item is my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard. This one's been in for about four or five months as well. Unfortunately, I've also slowed down on this item a little bit. I brought in another concealer into a different project. I've only maybe used this like 10 or 12 times in this past month. This was weighing 28.45 grams last month and this month it's 27.81. So I've used 0.64 grams, not quite a gram. And that's, you know, on par with where I was at last month. So there they are. And it is getting lower. You can see that it's lower for sure. I can at least. And this has been nice, slow, steady progress of this item. And I really have come to love this concealer or at least appreciate it. It was neglected in my collection for a few years. So I'm really happy that 
I've been using it on a regular basis, kind of learning how I like to use it. I really like it for spot concealing. What I'll do is I will use a color corrector and then I'll use this to spot conceal and then I'll cover that with a powder foundation. That's like my daily get ready for work routine. I'll be getting steady use on this and enjoying it in that way until we use it up. Okay, you are not gonna believe this. It's happened. Yes, the day has come. Tartiste Pro Glow Highlighter in the shade Exposed is empty. She is empty as can be. I've squeezed every last drop out of this thing. We've finally done it. I feel like it's been a year. It, it may have been a year, honestly. I'm not quite sure. It's been at least 10 months, I think, of trying to use this thing up, and I'm I can't believe it took that long. I can't believe I stuck with it that long. I kept thinking of giving up. I did. I kept thinking about it, but I didn't. I didn't <laughs> decide not to give up. I brought this to Maui with me. Maui was amazing. It was a trip of a lifetime. <sighs> I wish I was there right now. I'm going back as soon as possible. So I brought this to Maui and I just put it all over my body. Almost every day I was there. I put it on my decollete. I put it on my shoulders. I put it on my legs. I put it on my butt. Just kidding, I didn't really put it on my butt, but I put it on my friend, I put it on my friend. We joked about how I was going to insert a picture here of us being bronze goddesses in Maui, so I think I should, you know, fulfill that duty. And here it is, here is us being bronze goddess. Can you see, can you see the bronze in our skin in this picture? <laughs> I don't know, there's something about that island glow, you know? In putting this product all over my body during that trip, I went from 12.96 grams down to 6.51 grams. So we bronzed ourselves with 6.45 grams of this product and now she is empty. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm so happy. <sighs> Satisfaction. This is what we do project panning for, right? That's what it's all about. The next item is my e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette and another product that I'm so happy I brought into my project because I've just really, really been enjoying it, getting a ton of use on it, and it's just flying by, really. So I'll kind of show you its progression, of course. It was weighing 88.4 grams last month, and this month it's at 87.59 grams. I used 0.81 grams of product, so not quite as much as the previous month, but I just think I wore makeup, I guess, a little bit less this month, obviously. And this is what she's looking like. So you can see that I've used up this entire shade. So that's exciting. And then this one's pan has definitely grown and gotten bigger. And then I also have pan in the highlight shade that's grown just a teensy bit. I'm trying to use that I mostly just use that when I'm doing like full glam days if I want to like get that really highlighted look. And then I have this shade that I've been dipping into mixing it with this shade because this shade is not quite as deep as I like my bronzer contour to be. I think this one will be with us definitely a couple more months, but I am just trucking along with it and I can't believe I've used up an entire shade. Like that really just flew by and this one I think is gonna go by pretty fast as well. These, I don't know if I'll finish them up, we'll see. But in the meantime, really liking having this in. Okay, we're still working on my Benefit Hula Bronzer. This one will be the bronzer that never ends. We're getting close though, we are getting close. Last month it was weighing 36.25 grams, and this month it's 35.67 grams, so I've used 0.58 grams of product. The pan is getting big. The pan is huge though, and we're really getting down to the sides. That's what she's looking like. And you can see it's a nice hefty bit of pan, but it's now getting kind of tricky to get it onto the brush. So I think the time finally has come to change out the packaging on this, put it in either a different compact or just pull out the magnetic uh, pan. One of you friendly viewers let me know that this pan is magnetic, so that would be convenient just to slap it into a Z palette instead of dealing with this box and those sides. But I do think it's time to repress and remove this from the box. So this is the last time you'll see it in this little box here. This shade really has kind of grown on me. As much as I was like, eh, it's overrated. I still think it's like not the best thing. Like there's better bronzers out there, especially now, but this shade for me in the winter is pretty good. Like I always try to wear it in the summer, I guess. I think Hoola just gives me summery vibes, but with my skin tone, I'm more deep in the summer and this just isn't deep enough for me. So, But in the winter, it works pretty well, especially when combined with another contour, you know? So yeah, she's almost there and I'll be so satisfied to use up 
an entire bronzer. That'll feel really good. Next product is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is in the shade Diffuse Light. This is kind of like the yellowy, very light colored powder, and I use this to brighten under my eyes and on my forehead and chin as just kind of like a smoothing, highlighting effect. And I've really, really come to love this product. I really wanted to bring it in because it was getting no use in my collection, and this is not a cheap item so it performs like I understand why it's a more high-end item the packaging's nice it does perform well it has a really nice texture and I'm really enjoying getting regular use on it and having it be a part of my daily routine last month it was weighing 84.65 grams and this month it's at 84.15 grams so I've used exactly 0.5 grams and I again slowed down a little bit from last month it is getting quite a dip in it so here is what it's looking like now you can see there is quite a dip and I feel like you can almost start to see the impression of the pan, that like waffly-ness that these have, the waffle pan. Am I crazy? Can you see it? <laughs> so hopefully that means pan is coming soon, but again, this might just become a part of my regular makeup routine even after it's out of a project because I'm enjoying it that much. The next product is my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light and I'm happy to report that I was able to use up the remainder of this product in the past month. It was getting pretty low. Last month this was weighing 60.24 grams and this month it's 58 grams so I've used 2.24 grams and I've gotten every little ounce of powder out of there that I can. Like I have wiggled it, I've jiggled it, I've shaked it all around, it did the hokey pokey and it's empty. And I'm happy about that because this is one less thing in my inventory. If you haven't seen my makeup inventory yet, I just posted an updated makeup inventory for January 2022 and you get to see every single item in my collection and get a count of all of my items as well. So I'm trying to reduce. I'm trying to get below 200. That's my goal I set for myself. And this is one less powder and now I can go through the next powder to also, again, reduce in the next year. This is a great powder though. Great, great powder. And when I am out of powders, I would repurchase this powder. This would be probably the first one I would go to, unless I was trying like a new high-end one for fun. But like I said, frugal living here. The next item is my Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And this item has been pretty nice. I've been enjoying using it getting some good use on it for the past couple months. It performs well, I like it, I like it a lot. Yeah, there's not really much more to say about it. Last month it was weighing 9.73 grams, this month it's 9.6, so I've used 0.13 grams, which is pretty on par with where I was at last month. That is a good amount as far as eyebrow cream goes as I've been tracking eyebrow products over the past like year and a half. Definitely be getting better use on this than I was that Benefit Cabral that was like, dry as a bone so this one i don't know how much of it i'm gonna be able to use up though let's see if you can even see i've been like trying to show but i don't even include the videos most of the time because it's not even worth it to look you can't really tell maybe you can maybe it looks deeper to you i'll have to compare if it does i'll leave the video in if not whatever you see what you saw we'll see how much i can get used on this before it dries out because I do have another eyebrow pencil I would like to get some use on in this year at least. Still working on this Bite Beauty Amuse-Bouche lipstick in the shade Chai but it is very very low. Last month it was weighing 7.1 grams and this month it's at 6.91 grams so I used 0.19 grams more than I used the previous month and I've actually been using this as a cream blush a couple times to just get that extra use on it and it works very well, it's a nice shade for that. And this is how small it is. It's so teeny weeny. There it is. Just a little bit left, a little nice little nub there. I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna scoop it out and I'm gonna use it as a cream blush and lipstick until it is completely empty because I really enjoy the formula, I really like the shade and I'm a completionist. Okay, some of them I do, some of them I don't. This one I feel like I can do it, especially because it's a mini. It, there's not gonna be a lot of product on there. And I'm really starting to use cream blush more and just trying to get that into my routine and um, I'm enjoying it. So yeah, let's, let's go for it. Let's go for gold here. So we'll let her stay in for hopefully just one more month. That's what I'm hoping. The last item I've been working on is my Laura Mercier Lip Glacé in the shade Hello Dolly and 
I don't know how this happened, but in the past month, I was able to empty her out and use the last of it. I was pretty committed though. I mean, I, I admit, I was like, let's do this. Like <laughs> once the stopper came out, like I think I took the stopper out just after the last update and it was game on after stopper. I was afraid that after taking the stopper out, it would get like really messy and there'd be a lot of product in there that would kind of go everywhere, but that was not what happened. I basically, once I took the stopper out, I just scraped off the sides, got what I could there and then got a lip brush to get down to the bottom, whatever the stopper wouldn't reach down there. And voila, one month later, she's an empty. So there you go. You can see how those sides are just scraped as much as possible. She's really good and empty. And last month it was weighing 19.62 grams and this month 18.44 grams. I didn't do the math. So that means I used one, I'm gonna do it in my head. Wish me luck. I used 1.18 grams. That's a good amount. That's like more than I used most months. So I guess I really was dedicated. I was putting this on in the evenings around the house, just like, you know, giving my husband the most glossy lips to look at while he's with me in my pajamas. Oh, hi, bud. There's Butter. He has to make his appearance. Butter, you being good? I know. Everyone's happy to see you. They love when you come on here. Hi. I wish you would sit with me. That is, oh, I threw this one. I have to go get it. That is one, two, and three empties. Awesome. I haven't had this many empties in a few months. I'm super happy that I get to bring in some new things and put these in the trash and not count them in my inventory anymore. That's three less items in my inventory which is exciting. I've been thinking about what I want to bring into my project for a long time and I've been finding it kind of difficult. I don't know why. I think just because I really am like getting it down. I really am getting down in numbers with my collection and there's not a lot of things that I want to or think is possible to use up, except for lip products. I have so many lip products I need to use up. So spoiler, we're rolling in some lip products. One thing I've been wanting to bring in for a long time is my Becca Afterglow palette. This is a blush and highlight palette from Becca that I got in a Lucky bag from Beautylish years ago, but I love this palette. It's gone traveling with me, I've had it in my everyday makeup drawer. It has quite a good variety of items for a trip and highlighters are really beautiful. I love Becca highlighters. The blushes are beautiful. They're the only Becca blushes I have. Yeah, I just find it to be a really good staple in my collection. Oh, I'm actually funny story about this palette. So I was in Chicago. Like I said, I love to travel with this palette and I was in an Uber. We had just gotten off the airplane and I, we were in this Uber for like an hour. It was a long Uber and I decided to do my makeup in the car I don't know if that's weird but I was like I wanted to look cute on my trip so we'd land it was like a red eye like I landed and I wanted to get cute so I could like be cute during my day in Chicago when you were sightseeing and going to museums and I don't have to explain you understand anyways I didn't make up in the uber the uber driver was like the nicest guy in the world his name was Randy I think I think I'll have to ask my husband, um, but he was like telling us all these places to go and like things to do and giving us all the like hints and secrets about Chicago. And he was just like the nicest guy. And then I realized like a few days later that I didn't have this palette anymore. It was missing. I couldn't find it in my makeup bag anywhere or any of my luggage. And no joke, we texted Randy. He'd given us his number because I got, he's the nicest guy and we texted Randy and we're like hey Randy I think we left a makeup item in your uber <laughs> in your car is it there like would you look for it and he texted us back like immediately and he's like oh my god yes I I was wondering whose that was um I'm I'm downtown right now can I drop it off to you guys we were like at some bar it was like for my my it's for my brother's wedding and there was like people out in the city like a few days before the wedding and so we were like downtown chicago and we're like yeah dude we're at this bar and he was like oh my gosh guys i will be there right now i'm out on my route and he went out of his way to like come to the bar we were at and bring me this makeup palette because i was that sad about it like i didn't want to lose it i loved it so much so yeah randy shout out to you i hope you're doing well wherever you are and thank you for bringing this palette back into my life this palette has some pans in it it has huge pans in the pink highlighter and then a pretty big one in the white one as well and i am so close to hitting pan in that blush it is so low i use that blush a lot 
and I just know pan is around the corner any day now. But I would really love to use this palette up. I know, I, it might be a lofty goal, but I think I can definitely use at least the two highlighters and the blush. And I think I could get pretty good progress on this blush as well. This one, if I challenge myself to use it as like a eyeshadow, I think I can definitely hit pan on it. Maybe I'll challenge myself to use that in the summer when I'm nice and tan. Maybe it's like a bronzer topper or something. I'm going to try and hit pan on that one as well. I might not use that one up, but everything else I would like to get some solid use on. I would like this to be practically empty by, I don't know, the end of the year maybe. It might take me a whole year, but that's okay. This one is in for the long haul, so get used to her. I know Rebecca Morgan panned this thing, and I just loved watching her pan it, so... Yes, I'm excited. I'm really excited just to finally go in on it. I've kind of been nurturing it. I haven't been using it a lot because I didn't want to hit pan on blush before I rolled it into my project pan. I just wanted like to share the excitement of pan with all of you. The highlighters I have been using, I've just kind of been expanding those slowly. So it's definitely even expanded since you may have seen it in my products I want to pan video, which maybe you haven't seen that because it hasn't gotten a lot of views. So I'll link that as well if you want to check out and other products I want to use in the next year. One more thing, this one's weighing 73.93 grams as we roll it in. Thank you for humoring me with my Randy story. I don't know if you care, but I thought it was a cute story. The next item we're bringing into my rolling project pan is another lip gloss. I thought I might as well try and go through another one since lip gloss is in my collection. Most of them are pretty old. I decided to bring in this Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper, and this is actually a high-end lip gloss that I wasn't I wasn't aware of. Grande is that brand with like the eyelash grower <laughs> and eyebrow grower, like Grande Brow, Grande Lash. But anyways, this is the Grande Lips. It plumps your lips. And it does. It has a nice plumping feel. It's very nude. Here, I'll swatch it for you. So you can see it's really nude. So it'll go over any lipstick. I could even wear it over red if I wanted to. It would still just be shiny and plumping. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it over a red, but I could if I wanted to. And I'm excited to use this. I'm just excited to get more things moved out of my collection and why not work on a lip gloss again? Even though, you know, this one did take a long time, but it really made me kind of like lip gloss more. And I've had this for a few years. I got it in a boxy charm, so I'll be happy to get some regular use on it and just kind of form more of an opinion on it. And it'll be interesting to see how long it takes me to use that one yeah because i really have no idea how much product is in here like it's really there's no way of knowing like does product go all the way down here you can see it in this window but like where does it start i i, I don't know it's a mystery we'll have to just find out and wait i guess and i forgot to mention that this one is coming into the project weighing 17.58 grams for the last item, I decided to bring in another lip liner. This is from Rimmel and their Exaggerate line. This is the shade East End Snob, which is kind of a gross name. I don't love that name. I do love this shade. It's a nice cool tone pink. There it is. It's pretty. And I decided to bring this in because it's more of a creamy formula. So it'll go fast and there's not that much product in it. Like that's it. That's all you get. Like I think I, I've definitely used some of this in the time that I've had it, but there's not a ton of product in there. And I think I can get through this in three months, maybe, maybe less. I, I can go through lip products. I don't know how, I just love them so much and I reapply and wear them every day. You know, I'm wearing a mask. I don't care. It's not for anybody else. It's for me. <laughs> okay. This weighs in at 4.27 grams. It doesn't weigh much. I did draw a line of where the product is. All right. So there she is. I think I'll be able to get through this in a couple months. It's a really pretty shade. It's creamy. It'll just wear down very nicely. That'll be, again, one less liner in my collection. I definitely have more liners than I need, so it'll be, I'll be happy to get one out. Okay, so that is my update for my rolling project pan. So excited to share those empties with you, and it'll be interesting to see how these new items fit in to my project and how I enjoy using them and how much progress I'm able to make. So if you like my videos, if you like me, 
please take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I am really happy to be growing in this makeup space and I just want to grow alongside with all of you. Please let me know in the comments any videos you'd like me to film, anything you'd be interested in seeing. Things I'm thinking about in the works are an updated vanity tour. I also wanna maybe do like an apartment tour. Would that be interesting to you? Just so that you can kind of see what I'm working with. I have a lot of like interesting things in my house too, like a lot of cool antiques and artwork and furniture and things like that. I feel like a lot of beauty gurus and like makeup spaces you see are just very like very white and like clean and just like simple. I don't know, not in a bad way, but just like it's just not different. It's very different than what I have. And I feel like a lot of people out there can relate to that too. It's just like, I just want to be relatable and I just want to show people like the real stuff. Like I live in a small space and I don't have like a bedroom for filming and I don't have a room to get ready in and I, I don't have even a, a blank wall to film with. So I just kind of want to share my space with everybody and show people a little bit more about my life. So if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, please let me know. I'd love to share it with you. And I hope you're enjoying my videos and I hope you stick around. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I really enjoyed making it for you and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.